I uh, moved to English as well. I'm pleased to, <laughs> to introduce to you uh, Mark Berthold. He's the director of the Heinrich Bell Foundation here in Israel. Uh, welcome to Israel. He's a new director. And please. Toda Sarid. Shalom Nikulam. I will also continue in English since I just really got here a few weeks ago and I'm about to start. Um, continuing Hebrew studies, but so next time when you come back next year, hopefully I'll be able to do this um, more in Hebrew. Um, I started as the director of the Heinrich Böll Foundation, which is the political foundation of the German Green Party. We've been in Israel for 12 years, almost 13 now, and um, coming from the Green Party, of course, core issues are environment, energy, and climate change policies. We work on other areas like democracy and human rights, gender, and uh, minorities, and we have a program on foreign and security policy. So nuclear, energy, nuclear, non-proliferation, those are questions where there are linkages while, uh, while we are focusing on uh, nuclear energy and civilian use today. And we carry the name of the Heinrich Böll Foundation because uh, as a post-war writer, many of you may know him, he won the Nobel Prize for Literature um, in the early 70s. He was one of the first German intellectuals who supported the Green Movement at the end of the 70s and early 80s in Germany. And when the Green Party founded its foundation, um, after they had um, entered German Parliament in the early 80s, the family of Heinrich Böll gave the right to use this name. So in his honor, we decided um, to carry on the name Heinrich Böll Foundation since he supported the Green Party in its early stages. We are very pleased to host um, the, this conference today with the Hartog School of Government and Policy and the Israel Energy Forum. And it was said before, we didn't plan this because of Japan, but even though it may not appear on the, on the list of the agenda today, I'm sure it's, it's going to be omnipresent. Um, we are still seeing the, this terrible disaster unfolding in Fukushima in Japan. And um, we are also approaching the 25th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. And I think in all of this, we, while we are looking at Japan, we don't really know yet what is going to happen. It's in slow motion, and um, there are some successes. Everyone is happy if like, there are news out of Japan that the worst may be prevented, but at the end of the day, we really don't know quite yet what's going to happen. In Germany, these events have had great consequences already. Um, two weekends ago, there were 250,000 people protesting against nuclear energy in four major German cities, 120,000 in Berlin alone. And the current government, which used to be pro-nuclear, is seriously reconsidering their stance. And while they extended the phase-out that the previous government, the Red-Green Coalition, the Social Democrats and the Green, had established, they extended the lifetime. Um, but now they're also saying, like, we need to probably end, at least um, shut down the oldest reactors. They did this already for three months with seven of those. And um, in recent elections in a German state, but in Württemberg, the Greens won, um, uh, became in second, and they probably will have the first German Green um, state prime minister. When many attribute this to the consequence of the big debate um, um, around the disaster in Japan and what it means for nuclear energy on a German but also global level. But even in Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu said he would re have to reconsider current plans. There's no decisions made, but there was a statement early after the disaster that this, of course, makes everybody think. And um, so this conference is happening in the midst of both concern for the people of Japan in the region of Northeastern Asia, but also with a big shift um, in, global, in the global debate on uh, civilian use of nuclear energy. In addition to being very pleased to co-host this conference, I would also like the opportunity to present a little booklet that we just put out in Hebrew. It's a translation by a German um, um, text that initially was um, produced in 2006, around the 20th anniversary of Chernobyl. But since there has been a big debate on nuclear energy and climate change, we felt there needs to be an update on the debate on various level. And um, Gerd Rosenkranz, a renowned German expert on nuclear energy, is also here today and is going to speak to you later. He wrote this booklet. And there was a big interest in many countries and our partner organizations and our offices around the world to translate this in a number of languages. And so also here in Israel, there was a request or an interest to have this in Hebrew, which we basically just got ready for today, and with an, ex an additional chapter by Dr. Shachar Dolev on the Israeli context. So we're very happy, and you'll find copies outside if you haven't taken any quite yet, but you also hear on some of the content both by Dr. Gerd Rosenkranz and Dr. Uh, Dolev. Um, before I pass um, the microphone on, I would like to thank 
and to express my gratitude to Sarit Ben Shimon Peleg and Adva Simantov from Hard Talk, um, Yael Cohen, uh, Noam Segal, and Shacha Dolev at the Israel Energy Forum for really the hard work in putting all of this together today and for co-organizing this conference with us. Um, a special thanks does go to Shacha also for really taking a key role in contributing to our booklet, not just in editing but also writing additional chapters. And of course, um, for, to get Rosenkranz for coming to Israel and for everyone who is speaking today at the conference uh, for giving us their time and making an effort to be here today. And um, last but not least, I'd like to add um, also a gratitude to my colleague Elisheva Gilad, who put an amazing effort in getting this booklet together on behalf of the Bell Foundation and helping um, this conference taking off. So with this, thank you very much, and I hope we'll have very open and interesting discussions today.